we are conducting the second of our historical marches during the World War I Centennial. Uh, this one is in the Meuse Argonne and it commemorates the action of the 79th Division which attacked Montfaucon on September 26th and 27th of 1918. And so we've got a group of American and French soldiers with us who are walking from Hill 304, which was the jump off point for the attack, all the way to Montfaucon at the American Monument. Uh, and you can look over my shoulder, you may see American Cemetery, American Memorial. Uh, the French are just excited. They've been saying where for the last few years have the Americans been. They have laid out the red carpet. Uh, it, and for me personally, and for the soldiers I've learned, it's just moving. Argonne Offensive was a remarkable victory. The Allied forces have proved decisive in bringing an end to the Great War. The offensive was significant to the U.S. armed forces, and lessons learned informed how the United States would wage war in the future. Now, there is no doubt that the Meuse Argonne Offensive was a significant success, but we must not forget the cost of freedom. In front of us today, in this cemetery, lay 14,246 brave souls who gave them a last clear measure of emotion. Uh, we are in uh, the heart of the Argonne Forest, uh, just slightly to the uh, west of Chateau Charest. And we're following the path of Sergeant York on his Medal of Honor winning uh, feat on the 8th of October, 1918. What has meant the most for me, and I take this lesson from what we saw today, from the legacy that Sergeant York wanted to leave, which was a legacy of education. It's been a, such a pleasure to collaborate with the French. We have experienced it from the village level all the way to the highest levels of the French government. We have been welcomed here, and I believe strongly that we have reinforced our alliance with a key partner and ally, our oldest ally in France, through the, the appropriate, successful execution of these commemorations. And I think they have, they have exceeded all of our expectations uh, and been very successful. It was so important to the French people to have Americans participate in the Centennial because they live here and they experience and see and feel the battlefields every day. They have erected memorials or they've maintained memorials that were paid for or erected by the U.S. So for them to have Americans here, it is, they've been waiting for us. We're wrapping up the Army's commemorations of the World War I Centennial. In the course of four different commemoration events starting in late May, we brought about 400 American soldiers over to France who serve now in, in divisions and units that fought in World War I. And we've educated them uh, about their history as units in the Army. We have honored uh, the past and, uh, and we've remembered the service and sacrifice of Americans here, uh, more than 300,000 of whom were killed or wounded uh, in the course of World War I in just 18 months. Thank you. 